What's going on my rocket powered sound designers? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how I came close to recreating the main bass from rocket powered fuel. I'm getting rocket fuel from Trampa and this is what it sounds like. So not perfect, but it is going in that right direction. It's really, really in the right direction <laughs> but yeah guys cool sound here um also this friday we are actually launching the first growl plugin ever created yes a plugin that is literally created just for growls it's an effect and if you guys want to get on the early access list so we're going to be giving out like a shit ton of bonuses to the first 500 people that download it and if you want to be on that first 500 people i highly suggest you go ahead and click the link down below to get early access you just sign in and uh, or sign up and boom you're gonna get an email an hour before everyone else that way you are guaranteed a spot for the first 500 downloads uh, to get a shit ton of bonuses and who doesn't love bonuses but let's get into today's video that was that secret that I mentioned a little bit back that we are doing but we'll save it for a couple videos ahead anyways so thinking back to the original track, this is a very screechy FM sound. And what are we going to do to replicate that screechy FM? We're going to be using FM. So first things first, we're going to turn on our basic shapes. And we are going to be using a sawtooth waveform for oscillator A and oscillator B. Obviously, if we're running frequency modulation, we need two waveforms to run it off of. Um, so we're going to go into analog and we're going to go basic shapes onto oscillator B as well. And we're just going to turn these two to sawtooth waveforms. Okay, pretty cool. So next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to turn on our FM from B. You know what? Yeah, <laughs> we're going to turn on FM from B. And as you can see, as we turn it up, we're intercepting the frequencies from oscillator B. And that is just beautiful okay so now we're going to begin our modulation process this is the part where we start to shape the sound um think back to the original track it's like wow 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 okay so that's exactly what we're actually going to be doing think about wow <laughs> perfect perfect you guys know what i'm going with this don't act like i'm just some freak sitting here in my room by myself recording myself all right, uh, let's, let's keep going. So we're gonna turn on the FM up a little bit and we're gonna begin modulating. So turn on our low frequency oscillator to the FM from B knob just by dragging it on. And we're gonna start to turn it up. And it's just, it sounds like a fart right now, it's pretty gross. We're gonna put this on trigger and leave it on one fourth. And right now, we're going to turn this shit sound into something that's moving in the right direction. We're going to turn it up the octave up too. Okay, now you guys are like, okay, now we're getting somewhere. But what, where's the rest of the tone? We're going to go into the sync and we're going to be using this to create that really screechy sound. I know, still sounds like garbage, but we're going to modulate this down a tad bit. We'll say by negative seven. Okay, hear me out. Not the coolest sound in the world right now, but we are getting somewhere. Turn on the filter and we are going to go to our flanges and we're gonna go our 48 positive. Go figure, I love this filter, okay? It's great for growl basses in every single sound ever. I love shaping stuff with it. So we're gonna turn on the cutoff. First things first, let's just take a listen to what this sounds like. So, pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna turn down this cutoff just a tad bit to about like 213 hertz. And we're going to modulate this bad boy up to about right about <laughs> right about there sounds good to me okay and we're gonna leave the res the resonance right there i almost said resolution i'm like what the fuck so we're gonna turn up the drive as well to about uh 68 oh my and that's really just boosting the frequencies um that are being <laughs> used in this filter and finally we're just going to turn the mix of the filter down a little bit and we're actually going to be modulating this backwards a little bit so we could be cutting out just a tad eh, 
just a tad bit, um, and getting further back into the original shape of uh, the tone. So let's get back into the sound. Um, so right now, it sounds like a like a frog that's kind of like dying a little bit. It sounds too vocal, and this sound is not vocal at all. So what we're going to be doing to fix this is we're just going to distort the hell out of it. We're going to turn on distortion tube, and we're just going to turn up the drive all the way. All right, good fix. <laughs> we're going to um, now just modulate this because um, everything needs to be modulated. Everything. I'm kidding. But the eq is going to be used as a low pass filter i love using low pass filters in the eq or just cutting out the uh the high end of the sound inside of the eq because as opposed to a filter i don't know i just i love the fact that you can just control every little bit of it even though you can kind of do the same in a filter but you know we're going to be using it okay stick with me we're going to turn on the gain all the way on this right side or on the high end and that's just going to cut out the high end obviously Okay, great. We're going to turn the frequency at about 150 hertz. We're just going to turn on LFO1 onto the frequency here, and we're going to modulate it up. Right about there sounds good, but we're going to turn down the Q factor. All right, now we are getting somewhere. Okay, not too shabby. Uh, we're going to turn on our multiband compressor, so compressor, and then just turn on multiband. And here we're just going to turn up the gain. And we're also going to turn on our reverb. Okay, something doesn't sound right here, and I'm going to figure it out with you guys right now. Let's see. Oh, I turned this up three octaves. Oh my gosh, I'm silly goose. I, oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. That sounds sick. That was like, what the hell is happening? It still sounds like a fart. Um, but yeah, guys, that's really it. If you guys like that sound, you know what to do. Smash that like button. And if you're new here and you're not already, already subscribed, why aren't you subscribed on the real though? But anyways, if you haven't already signed up for the early access to Growlify, I highly suggest you get on that if you want a shit ton of bonuses because guys, I'm just giving stuff out on a daily basis, all right? It's every day, bro. I'm kidding. Fuck myself.